twisted tunes. He's the guy that gets them all here. He grounds them up, puts them in a little pie, and brings them here, guys. Give it up for Jeff Zanini! just this much louder, otherwise people are going to start loving him more. <laughs> I love him more, but you guys can't. Only I can love him more. So, you know what I do. I'm going to start real quick, okay? You know why you're here, right? You know the movie? <laughs> the, the Beast, you know what we're doing? <laughs> Alright, before we start, I always do it. It is Beauty and the Beast, but I see a lot of little faces. It is PG-13. There are innuendos. Now's your chance. Don't complain later if Lumiere or Cogsworth says something your kid doesn't understand. <laughs> Alright, that's my piece. That's all I'm going to say. And I'll tell you later on, go to Twisted Tunes. The more followers we get, the crazier you guys are, the more they bring us back here, because we love coming here. Stuff. I'm glad you're all nuts with me. All right, I want to hear you. This is it. Now I'm going to count to three. You have to be this much louder than you were with Chris. All right, ready? One, two, three. I totally remember, man. 
This is the stumpy. Okay, and the reason I have a stunny is in, in case the girl was married and didn't tell me and her husband comes to the hotel, I send him out, and it's all good. So this is the stunny, and he's here, but you know what? There's no way I'm going to let the stunt guy read for me because this is my favorite con in the world, and i got one question for you. Salt Lake City, are you ready to rock? Before we get started, I gotta tell you, we gotta give props. You know, this is the best party in the state. You guys know that, right? And the guy who throws the party is none other than my brother from another mother. You know him, you love him, even without the weed, take it off, dude. It's Dan She's totally down, bro. Jess, I, 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 I loved the new Jess. I really did. He's better than the old one. I'm gonna miss the new Jess. I was just getting used to him. Listen, go back there and go hit on some chicks. I gotta get to work. Ah! Hey, hey, you get a let's photo? do a picture, dude. Can yeah. we get a picture? Yeah. 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 Here, wait. Hey, hey will you guys all stand up and we get a picture? Yeah. Let's get your lights on. Stand up. We want to hear you. This hasn't even started and it's already really screwed up. This is going to be a good one, man, seriously. I love you, dude. What's your name, little guy? <laughs> Are you a friend? Oh. Ah! Alright. Let's get started now. You guys have waited long enough. Yeah. Alright. Beauty and the Beast, scene one. Does anyone have a pen? I lost my pen. Ready? Yeah. Is that it? Oh, is that Alright, I got one. Alright. Scene one. As a narrator. Jennifer Hale, Cinderella. Nice. As Belle, Jeff Bennett. Everyone remember uh, Land Before Time? How about Petri? As, uh, Jess, as LeFou, Pee Wee Herman. Okay. It makes sense, man. As Maurice, Kari. How about Aqualad from Young Justice? Jess, we're going to have you do Arnold Schwarzenegger, double duty. <laughs> now, dude, LeFou and, Sh and, and Gaston talk to each other all the time. So do you. Oh, God. <laughs> talk to right. myself all the time. That way I never get lonely, bro. Enjoy that one, guys. That one, that's a present for me to you. Enjoy that one. All right. Now, hey, as the townsfolk, you know the opening song I wrote the bonjour, bonjour, what's bonjour. What's all right, we're not going to do the whole song, but there's five bonjours. So when that part comes up, we're gonna point to you. We want five bonjour, just like the just like the movie. Right? Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Right now, yeah, they practice. No, they're professional. Yeah, you guys gonna get one team, man. These guys, this crowd knows what they're doing. You and then we South Park set. And the last part, opening the movie with the great introduction on the top, is gonna to be Kari as King Ezekiel. <laughs> Whenever you guys are ready, you may start. <laughs> Once upon a time. In a faraway land, a young prince lived in a shining castle. One winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter. The prince sneered. I was up late last night, so some of my voice comes out and sometimes goes. I'm gonna say sneered. The prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away, but she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found with him. And when he dismissed her again, the old woman's ugliness melted away to reveal a beautiful enchantress. The prince tried to apologize, but she had seen that there was no love in his heart. 
and as punishment, she transformed him into a hideous beast. Can I get hideous beast sound from somebody? beast with indigestion. <laughs> and he placed a powerful spell on the castle and all who lived there. If he could learn to love another and earn her love in return by the time the last petal fell. You know this story sounds strangely familiar. <laughs> then the spell would be broken. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast? Oh, oh, oh goodness. Hello. Why? Oh, the um, movie opens with Belle. Oh, couldn't I do it? Can I sing? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Um, singing the Bonjour song about a little town, a quiet village, sorry, and provincial life. The irony is that she loves a book where the princess doesn't figure out who the prince is until chapter three. I so get that. <laughs> little town, in a quiet village, oh yes it be. <laughs> Yes, I'm not fantastic. Sight up on that one. She works out constantly. <laughs> oh, you mean the inventor's daughter? Yes, she's the one. The lucky girl I'm going to marry. It's like she was sculpted out of a really hot rock. <laughs> but, 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 she's, she's the most beautiful girl in town. Stop it! Yeah, I know that. But, and that makes her the best. And don't I deserve the best? Look at me, my gluteus is Maximus. <laughs> Say that. I just made that up right now. He's crazy that way. <laughs> Hang on, I got more though. Hey, listen to this now. <laughs> well, of course, I mean, you do, but I mean. Oh, this is that song, dude. Hang on. Right from the moment when I met her, saw her. I said she's gorgeous in the fan. The time that saw me be was beautiful to see. I'm making plans to marry the man. Well, we're not exactly girls, but we all kind of get his attention. All girls are welcome. They sing about how tall, strong, dark, and handsome Gaston is. And they're all right about it. I'm fantastic. <laughs> but right now, I want you to watch me. I'm going to give you a lesson and show you how I will make Belle my wife. Hello, the Belle. Uh, bonjour, Gaston. <laughs> Gaston, may I have my book, please? <laughs> listen, listen, I said she was hot. I didn't say she had the weird voice. Wait a minute. I have wings either. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How can you read this book? There's no pictures. Well, some flyers use imaginations. Um, let me tell you something. You're a saucy little vixen. <laughs> It's about time the 
then you get your heart out of the book and you pay attention to more important things. Like me! The whole town is talking about it. It's not right for the woman to read. Then she starts getting ideas. She starts the thinking and she marches on Washington. <laughs> I just want to say for a moment, that's exactly why you lost the series. Why, thank you, Bill. You're very sexy, too. <laughs> what do you say you and me take the walk over to the tavern and have a look at my trophies? Please, Gaston, no, I can't. I have to get home, fly, fly, pull, big water, and help my father. Bye-bye! Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! That crazy old loon, he needs all the help he can get. Don't talk about my father that way! <gasps> yeah, don't talk about the father that way, or that wasn't me. I was supposed to ask you. That's what I just said! <laughs> that crazy old loon, he needs all the help he can get. We just went backwards. Pick it up, Chad. My father not crazy! Genius! Okay, I laughed at both of them. Hang on. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Can you hear me? No, no, no. Can you hear me? Ha ha! Quiet! <laughs> this particular voice never raises his voice, so you're going to have to be quiet. How on earth did that happen, dog? Go on it. Are you all right, Papa? You sound like you party a lot. <laughs> I'm about to get ready to get give up on this hunk of junk. Oh, you always say that. I mean it this time. This time I think I'm gonna put on some really tight pants and swim in the ocean. <laughs> I say, <laughs> We say that a lot too. <laughs> and become a world famous inventor. Ooh, that'd be nice. You really believe that? No. I would be neither. I always have. Yes, secretly no. <laughs> well, that's what I was waiting for. And for Netflix to say that we're picked up for another season. fixed in no time. Hand me that, that octopus-legged clencher there. So, did you have a good time in town today? Oh, I got a new book. Papa, do you think I'm odd? <laughs> I know several thousand people do, but do you? <laughs> Where would you get an idea like that? Oh, I don't know. It just, I'm not sure it fit in here. <laughs> there, there's no one I can really talk to. And no flyer. What about that Gaston? <laughs> He's a handsome fellow. Oh, he handsome, all right. All the hair and all. <laughs> This invention is going to be the start of a new life for us. Now, let's give it a try. Suddenly, an enormous machine puffs and smokes and, oh dear, we learn all it does is cut wood. It works! Well, cut wood is a euphemism for something else. We'll talk about that later. It does! That was a multi-syllabic word, not a four-letter word. Kids, ask your parents later. 
Hitch up the leap, girl. I'm off to the fair. Goodbye, Papa. Good luck with chopping wood. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Belle. And take care while I'm gone. I've got a feeling she's not going to listen to that advice. And see. Let's just, let's just go to the next scene. Next scene, we got narrating Jess, Kermit the Frog. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. As Chip, <coughs> Kari, how about Black Manta? Yes. Yes, that's good. As the Beast, Jennifer, not another, <laughs> yeah. and Princess Morbucks. Awesome! <laughs> As Belle, Jeff, Tom Brokaw. <laughs> yes, you're Belle again. You fit the suit, man. Jess as Lumiere, Ironhide. Transformers, that's right. And speaking of, how about Curry? Cyborg from Teen Titans. That's Cogsworth. Cogsworth. All right, let's see, keep going here. Um, Jen, as the foo, I know you're gonna scream for Commander Shepard. <laughs> as Gaston, Jess, Wacko Warner. I sound just like the guy on the show. You guys are gonna freak out. <laughs> and as as uh, Maurice, Jeff, how about John Travolta? <laughs> special guests that want to come up, or are we not going to do it? We have somebody in the back. If we don't, it's okay, but if we do, is she a yes or a no? Yes or no. We, we, have, we have the Salt Lake City Mini Belle herself. We just don't know if she's ready to come up. Please come. Please? Yes or no? If not, we'll just do something else. Alright, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. She's not ready. Here's the deal. She's actually doing this for all of you. She's a little girl, she's eight years old, and she's so damn cute that if she came out here, you'd all have heart attacks. So she's looking out for your health, man. Right? <laughs> And she's, she's back there, she's adorable, and we're gonna figure it out without her. Lily, we love you, honey, don't worry about it, it's no big deal. All right, here we go. Uh, as Mrs. Potts, for one line, can you do Edith Bunker for us? Okay. <laughs> Edith Bunker it is. All right, when you guys are ready, start the craziness. So Maurice is Yeah. So, like, we should be there by now, right? <laughs> Maybe we think something in themselves, think. I'll take off. Maybe we missed a turn. I guess I should have taken a, wait a minute, all right? Let's go this way. I don't know why, but let's do it. Well, he obviously chooses the wrong path and gets lost in a swamp of all places. <laughs> wait, well, I thought they were draining the swamp. Promise this promise is there. I don't believe it. This can't be right. What have you, what have, wait, what? <laughs> Where have you taken us, Philippe? Is that your name? We better turn around. Oh boy. Oh, Philip. I mean, Philippe. <laughs> See, I forgot your name. <laughs> oh, look out. Back up. You better back up. All right, Mr. Cutter, I swear. <laughs> steady now. All right, steady. Philippe, Philippe, are you a horse? <laughs> I just forgot your name. Okay. Oh no! Uh, Maurice, who is obviously drunk, out on his feet, falls down a hill and stumbles into a castle. Huh? Is this someone there that can, like, tell me how to speak right? <laughs> this poor fellow must have lost his way in the woods. I 
sound awesome today. I've been doing good. <laughs> Booyah! I mean, oh, hold on, hold on. I'm supposed to be quiet. I don't know how to be quiet at Cyborg. That's not what Cyborg does. Cyborg is really, really loud most of the time. I'm mean, gonna try to think of me being loud. Think of me being quiet. Okay, I'm gonna keep quiet. This is quiet. This is my quiet voice. <laughs> Maybe he'll just go away if we keep being quiet. <laughs> Is someone there? I just woke up. <laughs> Not a word, Lumiere. Not one word. All right, I don't mean to intrude and everything, but I lost my horse. <laughs> and I need a place to stay for the night, because I lost my horse. <laughs> yeah. He obviously has not lost his alcohol. Hartswolf. <laughs> Have a heart, even though I am made of metal and do not. Dude, I told you to be quiet! He's never gonna go away if you don't be quiet! <laughs> the angry clock fellow has a point. <laughs> of course, Monsieur, you are welcome here as long as you are not a Decepticon. Transformers said that. The one who got killed at the end of the third movie. <laughs> oh no, I'm over here. I thought maybe it was a British one. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of British people in space for some reason. We'll get into that later. <laughs> it says this here. Hello, I'm French now. Oh, incredibly. <laughs> Well, now you've done it, you were way too loud, and now he's won't go away. Now he's trying to pick me up and play with me. Stop pushing my buttons. <laughs> all right, angry dude, how exactly is this accomplished? Well, first of all, you take a car, and then you transform it into a robot. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, I got more lines. <laughs> Sir, I need you to put me down at once. Sir, close that at once. Do you mind? That is my breastplate. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know. I had that problem with the breasts all the time. PG-13, didn't we? Yeah. All right, I'm breaking clock. It's just that I've never seen like a, a clock with a breastplate. You know, that, uh, I mean, a ch okay, I'm gonna sneeze now. A chew! <laughs> Who? You are so to the bone, monsieur. Come, warm yourself by the fire. Well, that sounds like an inviting voice. No, 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 no. Do you know what the master will do if he finds you here? I demand that you stop right here. No, right here. <laughs> Come on, right here! <laughs> no, no, not in the master chair. You send me the master chair, y'all. Get out of the master. This is what's actually written. I, I don't want to say it, but it's a, well, hello there, boy. What? <laughs> what service? All right, this is not far enough. I'm Man, I, I agree. And I say dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Ellipses, excuse me. <laughs> How would you like a nice spot of tea, sir?
marshals are at the exits right now. <laughs> Um, like I tried to tell them um, this uh, moment to say I was um, against this from the start. I tried to stop them. I told them over and over again. I was like, y'all gotta be quiet. Be quiet. Somebody, please, don't be so quiet. Shut your pie hole. <laughs> Who are you? What are you doing here? This is mine. Okay, like I said about 30 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, I was on a horse. <laughs> I was lost in the woods, on my horse. Let's, no, I'll, I'll skip that. 
So, narrator, Jen, Bioshock, Rosalind. Okay. As the Beast, Kari, how about Rafiki? It's unbelievable, you guys, it's gonna freak you out. All right, uh, Jess, who better to play Belle than Christopher Walken? Jeff, share the book. Yes. As Maurice, Jennifer, Jean Grey. All right, now, there are four parts here, and we're going to use, since we have all the Beatles here, we're going to use the Beatles. Yes, Bill. All right, as Cogsworth, Jeff, is John Lennon. And as Chip, is Ringo Starr. And Jess, as Lumiere, is Paul McCartney. And Mrs. Potts is George Harrison. Now, I do have one line as the feather duster. We need to give somebody something. Do you have any of them? What do you want to do? Kelly Ann Conway will be the feather duster. All right. Whenever you're ready to screw up more minds, go right ahead. Wow, is he gone? <laughs> Can you imagine he asked me to marry him, me, the wife, that <laughs> boorish, brainless, no. No, I want adventure, and a great wife somewhere. I wanted more than I could have. And for once, it might be grand to have someone understand the black of water never wears any pants. <laughs> Let's go eat it. Yeah, I'm a hoofer. I'm a hoofer. I'm a dancer. Philippe, what are you doing here? Where? Where's Papa? Where is he? Philippe, I gotta find him because I've had his watch up my ass for 35 years. No, no, we gotta find him. You have to take me to him. Wow. Hey, hang on. Hold the phone. What is this place? Oh, couldn't creep. Couldn't keep quiet, could we? Uh, Just had to invite him to stay, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> Serve him tea, sit in the master's chair, pet the pooch. Oh, no, look, John, it was just available in the other place over there in the humane society. John, 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 I was just trying to be hospitable. You know, we let Yoko stay in the studio for six months one time. <laughs> hey, hello, is anyone here? Hello, pa, pa, papa. Oh, there's a girl in the castle. I've never seen one before. Now, I'll tell you, I'll tell you making up such wild stories and whatnot with your fire guard, Jake, jumps it over and it's all But really, Mama, I saw her just like I saw the second Jess on else. <laughs> Not another word, my guitar's busy gently weeping. <laughs> Get into the tub, will you? I was busy. I was, I was reviewing the facts, and what they really actually do say is um, a girl. I did see a girl in the castle. He was nowhere near her. Let me just tell you that right now. Kelly okay, Ann, yeah, I'm gonna need you immediately. I have a tweet in my head. <laughs> oh, actually, sorry. See, I told you Kelly Ann Conway was here too. Oh, it's you. No, it's you. Oh, it no, it's we'll do it together. <laughs> Irresponsible, devil may care, waxy eared, slap jawed, and what do you call your hair? Wow, hang on. <laughs> Papa! <laughs> hey, look, John, did you see that? It's a girl, that's what it is. <laughs> look, I know it's a girl, I've seen plenty of girls. In fact, I've got a lot of songs about girls, you might know that. Oh, but, oh, but don't you see? Hey, girl. Yeah. She's the one I've been waiting for. Right. Before I walked in, I said, hey, girl. Don't make it bad. I gotta tell you, the girl we've been waiting for, like she's coming here to break the spell, you see. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wow, hey, Papa! Papa! Who are you, Barbara Streisand? <laughs> Hello? The candle and the clock. Open the door behind her. Or is it the clock and the candle? Hard to say. 
Hi, hi, it's me. Is someone here? Wait, I'm looking for my father. You might know that because I called Papa like 400 times. <laughs> you know, it's funny, I'm sure there was someone. I, I, I is, that's what it says. Anyone here? Uh, Bell? Is that you? Uh. One more time. Papa! <laughs> since 1986. <laughs> but what I find unusual is your hands like ice. You have to get you out of bed. No, no, no. Well, I want you to leave this place. I can't hold it back much longer. Hey, hold on. <laughs> Who's done this to you? There's Let no me... time to explain. Sorry. You must go now. Yeah, I'll go as soon as I stab him in the face with a soldering iron. <laughs> The point is, Belle, or Maurice, I'm Belle, I forgot, I'm not wearing a dress. I won't leave you. Hold on a minute. Now, who in the world are you? The master of this castle. <laughs> I feel like the circle of life is coming together before my eyes. <laughs> Listen, I've come for my father. Please let him out. Can't you see he's sick? He's got a fever, and the only cure <laughs> is, is to get out of this castle and have more captain. <laughs> Your father? I know your father. <laughs> and let me tell you, your father would never have trespassed a rock here. But little monkey man, you can die, please, I'll do any thing. <laughs> You know, maybe you could put your sentences together a little bit quicker. That would be something you could do. <laughs> but for now, I'm going to have to say that he is my prisoner. Oh, there must be some way I can wait. <laughs> Take me <laughs> instead. money I've made doing it. <laughs> Let me ask you this. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Lucky Man, if I did stay, would you let Papa go? <laughs> well, you know, you kind of spriggy looking to me. <laughs> but you must promise to stay here forever. <laughs> hey, do me a favor. Come into the light. Uh, Bill, no, no, I, I, I can't let you do this. It's wrong. You have my word. Dramatic pause. Oh, there was now. You have my word. <laughs> was as dramatic as it sounds? That was the most undramatic pause I ever had. <laughs> I have Jonathan right here. Here, no, oh. Bill, no, listen to me. I'm old, not that old. I've lived my life under the people's. <laughs> Hey! Wait! Bell! Wait! <laughs> no! Scotty! Wolverine, please! Spare my daughter! I'm over here still waiting for that dramatic pause. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, let's move on. She is not of your concern anymore. Take him to the village.
this scene, let's do Finding Nemo. Oh, okay. Yes, as the Beast, who else than Dory? And as Belle, how about Marlin? And as Gaston, Jeff, yeah. Johnny Bravo. <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey. Oh, good. <laughs> Jess as Maurice the Cowardly Lion. <laughs> Jen as crony number one, Sarah Palmer from Halo. Oh, it's crony number two, Jess. We want you to sing lines. Michael McDonald singing two lines. That's two nice. Lines. That's, nice. Really, that's really stupid. Nick isn't here, is he? We didn't get Nick to come. No, I don't think he showed up. All right. As LeFou, Kari, how about we just let you do whatever you want to do? I want you to make it up as you go. All right. We'll get there. We'll see what happens. We're digging into Kari's brain on this one. You asked for it. Yeah. All right. Whenever you guys are ready, go right ahead. And now, after taking a short dramatic pause, <laughs> we are back in the dungeon. Master! <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, I suffer from short term memory loss. <laughs> huh? What? So, since the girl is going to be with us for quite some time, <laughs> I was thinking that you might want to offer her a more comfortable room. Well, what? Oh, she ain't big enough for it? Huh? 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 Do, do, do. <laughs> She's on the Mexican, then again, maybe not. No, wait, Nemo! <laughs> you didn't even let me say goodbye. <laughs> I'll never see him again. <laughs> I didn't get to say goodbye. <laughs> I didn't? Come on, I'll, oh, no. I'll show you to your room. It's right past the undertow where I hope you end up. <laughs> well, she lost my damn son. What do you want me to say? I'm sorry. I got so many keys. Uh, I'll show you to, to your, your a room. Do you want a room? Hi, Wait a I'm Dory. <laughs> I know you told me you were Dory 17 times while we were waiting to start this scene. I do. But, but, but wait a minute, my room? I live in the ocean. I'm a fish. How can I have a whole room? A boat? Oh, oh, I've seen a room. Uh, there's a room. Um, you want to stay in the tower? No. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, then, 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 then follow me. Follow me. Woo! I love games. <laughs> Woo! That is an interesting idea. Say something to us! Huh? Oh. Uh... Hi... <laughs> and start? Ooh, 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 uh, well, well, ooh. I hope you like it here. <laughs> What's in the West Wing? Is it a bunch of seagulls going, mine, 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 mine? Yes, stop it. <laughs> it is forbidden, I think. Uh, well, uh, I mean, at least, at least I think it is. Hi, I'm Dory. No, 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 if you need anything, my, um, um, you know, certain fish will, will, will attend to you. And, uh, hi, do you need a room? <laughs> Well, uh... Oh, it's dinner. Invite her to... Wait, that's not my voice! I meant dinner! <laughs> Invite her to dinner! I sometimes lose that. Oh, sorry. Hi. Uh, uh, uh dinner. D food? Do you, do you need food? Or, 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 or room? Um, boing, boing, boing. <laughs> sorry, that, 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 that's not a request. <laughs> I'm Dory. Changing scenes, we find ourselves in Shawshank prison. <laughs> we look around, but Andy's is nowhere to be found. I hope that wherever he is, he hooked up. You know what? I'm getting off the subject. Why don't we move back to the village, to Gaston's tavern? 
drunken fools, all of them. <laughs> Man, where's my hair gel when I need it? <laughs> Shitface she is. My girl is tangled with the wrong man. <laughs> Nobody says no to Johnny Gaston. <laughs> it's all right, sir. Your moment says bad things to you. I sure never would. <laughs> yeah, whatever you said, that's right, man. Dismissed, rejected, hurt, publicly humiliated, man. <laughs> And I know public humiliation. <laughs> Why, it's, it's more than I can bear. You know, it would make you feel so much better. Some beer. Have more beer. <laughs> Here, I said bear, man. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> what for? I mean, nothing helps. I, I'm disgraced. Who? Wouldn't shit down. No, you never, Gaston. You've got to pull yourself together. Here, let me help you. Get your hands off me, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, the next scene, <laughs> I have to calm down. The next scene is an homage to Gaston in song. Actually, we learn, you know actually what? it's not. You know what, I don't mean to interrupt you, but it's, it's the Gaston song, and we have a couple people here that can actually sing it. Would you like to hear that? Oh. sing a little piece of the Gaston song for you. Right. Yeah, you can take one of the end here. Here you go. They're going to sing the Gaston song, folks. Enjoy. Welcome to Metal Tabernacle Choir right here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm especially good at expectorating. Wow, what a guy, Gaston! When I was a lad, I ate four dozen eggs every morning to help me get large. And now that I'm grown, I eat five dozen eggs, so I'm roughly the size of a barge. Somebody help me, I don't believe in beast, I don't believe in beast, I don't believe in beast. <laughs> Trapped in a castle with a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> oh man, hey, her, who? slow down, Maurice. Who's got the bell or whatever she is locked up in a dungeon? It's a beast. That's a horrible, monstrous beast. <laughs> <laughs> Take a left on the yellow brick road and thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Crazy old Maurice, he's always good for a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need a personal moment, sir. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Yeah. Crazy old Maurice, huh? Crazy old Maurice. Except I knew that before the scene even started. <laughs> <laughs> 
My food. I'm afraid I've been thinking. A dangerous pastime. <laughs> I know, but that wacky old Cooter's Bell's father is as crazy as you know what. And his sanity is only so so. Now the wheels of my head have been turning. Ooh. Since I looked at that loony old man. Okay. <laughs> See, I promised myself I'd be married to Bell. <laughs> right now, I'm a little like a Johnny plant. And <laughs> see. <laughs> crazy but I just want to speak on behalf of all of us and say how happy we are to be here with you guys how much we've loved meeting you guys if you haven't met us come say hi later you don't have to buy anything you can just come and say hi we'd love to shake hands with you and meet you we'll be down there what are you calling me? um the convention yeah we'll be at the convention <laughs> so come see us there I love you guys thanks so much for having us we really appreciate you Is Jan Rebel here? I met this girl at the hotel and she did an amazing impression. And Jan, are you here? Shout out if you're here, Jan. Jan, right there. Jan, Jan come here. You're coming up. You're coming up. Alright, while she comes up here, I'm going to cast this because we got two more scenes. She's we a friend of ours and she's pretty awesome. All right. She can sit right there, right, dude? Uh, as the wardrobe, Jennifer, Marilyn Monroe. As Cogsworth, yes. Jeff, yes. Smee from. Peter Pan. Has anyone ever heard of that? Jake in the Neverland? Jake in the Neverland. Yes. Uh, as Lumiere, Jen. Ms. Keen from the Powerpuff Girls. Uh, all right. Kari's going to narrate. I'm going to give you two choices, so don't say anything yet. It's going to be one or the other. Don't say anything. It's Gandalf or Magneto. Hang on. If you want Gandalf, scream. I'm going to have to shoot. Magneto. Why don't we give Gandalf that one? Gandalf. Yeah. All right. Gandalf. As Mrs. Potts, Jeff. Yeah. We've teased him with it. How about we bring Donald Trump? Yeah. All right. Half the crowd like it. Half the crowd hated it. <laughs> what are they like? All right. Jess, as Chip, you're Roger Rabbit. We gotta bring Eric Cartman. And who else better to go with the beast than our special guest star Chan doing butters? You guys are gonna like it. You told her to like riff, right? So she's gonna have fun. Alright. Alright. Whenever you guys are ready, it starts on page 11. And you are Belle as butters. Bottom of page oh, ten. Is. Bottom of page ten. Yeah, yeah. Ten comes to four lines. I'm giving her voiceover lessons, dude. This is... You think he's kidding? All right. You guys are ready. Let's roll. Woo! Make this happen. Back to the third installment of this story. Back to the beast castle, and and we're walking. I've died, and I've come back, and I'm quiet. <laughs> That's what's, known, that's what's known as a double entendre. Oh, jeez, who is it? <laughs> uh, it's me, Mrs. Bud. <laughs> I thought you might make a spell of tea. It's bad, just as bad. Oh, but you're, uh, but you're a, uh, I... I certainly am. <laughs> it's me. It's really me. Oh, goodness. Careful. It traps. Oh, jeez, this is impossible. <laughs> I, I know it is, Mr. President, but here we are. <laughs> oh, well, Jesus, I told you she was pretty mom, didn't I? Just like my lovely wife, Jessica. <laughs> 
Alright, now chip, that'll do. <laughs> now duck. Slowly now, don't spill. Well, you know what happens? Oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Bottle Bell. Hey, you wanna see me do a trick? <laughs> chip, your baby treat. <laughs> Mama. That was a very brave thing you did, Chippy Chip. <laughs> yes, um, we are, so. But I bless my father, well, all my dreams, well, I'm grounded. <laughs> yeah, I know, me too, kid. Chill, child. You'll turn out all right in the end. You'll see. Oops. I did it again. <laughs> Look at me, jabbering on when there's a supper to get on the table. Chip! Okay, see you later, man. Bye! Goodness, now, what shall we dress you in for dinner? Let's see what I've got in my drawers, not those drawers. <laughs> I don't want to see what you've got in your drawers, Ivanka. That's not what you suggested. <laughs> Think about it. We never hear of a king or a queen or parents. And so why is this prince living on his own? And he's got a wardrobe full of women's clothing. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, that's very kind of you, but well, I'm not going to dinner. I said I was grounded. <laughs> oh, goodness. Grounded or not, you must. The <coughs> dinner is served. <laughs> lost your father, okay? And her freedom. Freedom! All in one day. Um, excuse me, everyone. Um, Master, have you thought that perhaps this girl, not the of girls, could be the one to break the spell? Yes, of course I have, you guys. I'm super sweet and totally awesome. I'm not a fool and poor like Kimmy. <laughs> Must control, control your temper. temper. 
Shut up! <laughs> Young man, I... Oh, there she is. Uh, good evening. <laughs> well, where is she, you guys? Who? Oh, the girl? Oh, yes, the girl! Well, uh, actually, she's in process of... Uh, <laughs> Oh, they said stretch it out. Uh, uh, circumstances being what they are. Uh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> She's not coming. <laughs> I am so totally pissed off. I'm a what? Your grace, your 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 your, your, eminence, uh, your captain is. Uh, uh, let's not be hasty. Hey, buddy, I thought I told you to come to dinner. I got ticket proof and ticket pop pop. <laughs> Maybe twice, maybe three times. <laughs> gently, gently, <laughs> gently, gently, gently. It's very, very good. Brothers, you like come down to dinner and stuff? <laughs> I said no. Go down, all the suave, all genteel. I'm not even sure what that means. <laughs> Butters, it would give me great pleasure if you would join me for chicken goose and chicken pot. Here in Neverland, we say please. Welcome. No, thank you. You cannot stay in here forever! Well, yes I can. Hey, then go ahead. Then go ahead and stop. If she doesn't eat with me, then she doesn't eat at all. Respect my authority! <laughs> Yes. 
Yeah, as Cogsworth, Jeff, we heard you are the best John Cleese in the business. John Cleese will be Cogsworth. As the feather duster, Jeff, Scary Terry. Oh, uh, let's see, let's see. Wow, that's a lot of parts. Okay, for Kari, we need to choose between Cyborg and Rafiki because you both love them. Now, wait, shut up. Cyborg, scream. One left, and it's for Bell, Jess. We need to pull! Who do you want to be? Someone who do you guys want me to be? Is there any who do you guys want to be? He thinks I'm Gene Simmons, you guys know that, right? In real life, yeah. All right, folks, this is what, now listen, after this, we're gonna do lots of yelling and screaming, but they're gonna be signing to the end of the show, so after this, please come by and say hi to them downstairs. Seriously, man, we'd love to say hi. Or in the other hall. All right, guys, whenever you're ready. He looks great inside of it. Show me the girl, and while you're at it, show me a donkey. Why is your bathroom guys so bad once you get the show? Why don't you give him a chance? <laughs> <laughs> but, I don't want to get to know him. I don't want to have anything to do with him. I'm only fooling myself. She'll never see me as anything but a monster. Oh, it's hopeless. Okay, so this is where it gets really weird, kids. This candlestick thing is putting the moves on a feather duster. I mean, how does that even work? Oh, no, bitch. Did say please, didn't he? <laughs> but in the 
master doesn't learn to control his temper, he never break the... I'm going to interrupt you now, sorry. Splendid to see you out about Mademoiselle. I am Cogsworth, head of the household, and I'm very put off as I always am. This is Lumiere, who cares? Asante, <laughs> Cherie! <laughs> Well, if the... Stop that. Stop it. Shut up. <laughs> you shut up. Well, I took it. I'm sorry! Anything uh, we can do to make you stay more comfortable? Well, I am a little hungry for a great deal on Priceline.com. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do have to. You are! Well, then it is time! Hear that? She is hungry! Stop the fires! Break off the silver! Red the channel! <laughs> Yes, remember what the master said. I don't, but I'm asking you. Do you remember at all? Oh, pistos. Pistos? Yes, somebody says it. It's an English word, yes. I'm not about to let the poor child go hungry. Oh, well, well, all right. Glass of what? Custard bread, and then we kill them? Is that it? <laughs> Do we get to hurt them I mean, any time soon? Wait, Cogsworth, I am surprised at you. She's not a prisoner. She's her guest. There's a whole song about it. <laughs> we, we must make her feel welcome here, right this way, Mademoiselle. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep it down. I know that's terribly difficult for you. I mean, if the master finds out about this, it will be our necks, which some of us don't even have. <laughs> well, of course, of course, but... What is dinner without a little music -o? <laughs> Music? Ma chère, mademoiselle. It is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure, I think you know where I'm going with this, <laughs> that we welcome you tonight. And now, we invite you to relax. Let us pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents your... Everybody! Dinner! We got a surprise. We got a surprise. We have the Metal Tabernacle Choir coming up here to sing it for you. We love these guys with that bicycle. Here's one. Yes. Look at this, guys. Look what we did for you. Yes. We got one more for you. All right, we want you joining in on this. You all know the words, right? There you go. Good. All right. On you guys now. Let's hear it. Guest, be our guest. With our service to the test. I will not give you your next step to you. We provide us. We only have to serve. I am thankful. See you.